This video is going to show you how to set up the shims to uh, get the correct end float on the crankshaft of the VW engine. End float is the, um, the travel forward and backward of the crankshaft on the crankcase. It's controlled by adding shims behind the flywheel. You've got to have three and they've got to add up to an amount that gives you about um, 0 0.07 of a millimetre travel when it's all set up tight. That's about, you want between three and seven thou total travel. So the way we measure end float is to set up a, a dial indicator like this, uh, which measures um, fractions of a millimetre. And attach this either to, you can either attach it to the case and measure off the flywheel or attach it to the flywheel and measure off the case. So I can then zero it there and measure the total amount of travel. So at the moment, maximum travel, which is without shims, is 0.8 of a millimetre, or 80 hundredths of a millimetre, which is obviously way too much. No shims in there of course at the moment. So now we'll add some shims. So currently we've got a total of 0.8, we want to end up with 0.07, so we've got to add in shims that add up to 70.73. Uh, So the original three three shims before it was line border here, um, and while this isn't a very accurate measurement, it's good as a as an indicative one. And the three of these add up to 0.77. We're looking for a total of um, 0.73, so we're not too far off. So what I've got to do is replace one of these shims with a thinner one. So I borrowed a whole pile of shims off Rusty Bus. Um, Got to find one that'll go with those or two of the other ones to get it down there, but that's quite a good one. Okay, that's looking pretty good. That's point just roughly measured, it's 0 0.68. So we'll try that, see how they go. So the shims go in behind the, the flywheel. Currently zeroed. And now we've got 0 0.7.8, something like that. So the maximum specifications here are 0 0.07 to 0 0.13 of maximum thrust, and I've got about 0 0.9 there, so that's well within the range. Right, so now that we've got the shims set correctly, it's just a matter of uh, sticking them all in and putting the oil seal on. The oil seal goes in on top of the shims and you'd have to keep it taking it out and if you did that you'd bugger it. So. And then the oil seal itself, just put a little bit of a grease, bit of grease around the lip there. Just sort of line it up and then tap it in with a soft hammer. So again a little bit of grease around where that bearing is going to be sitting. Ready to roll. 